some of these young people who their lives might be the first time they've ever had this sort of opportunity to do this. Moving from education into the world of work is undoubtedly daunting for many. But after putting on a business breakfast for the first time three years ago, Falklands College discovered that discussing future career paths with local employers over a cuppa worked a treat. So it was born actually from my son Thomas who'd been to Burford. Um, he went there to do his A-levels and he went to one and said, Mum, you're doing careers, you need to do a business breakfast. So it's a platform for students and businesses and um, potential employers to meet and discuss future, future careers. This year the event was organised in collaboration between Falklands College, the Chamber of Commerce and FIDC. The young people in attendance range from undergraduates to students studying at college and completing apprenticeships. It is a real, real mix. Um, and for some of the young people in this room, it's the first time they've ever actually been put in this situation. Some of them have never been through a job interview or anything like that, so it's really quite important for them to, to sit down and have conversations with people. I'm amazed how confident they are, actually, and um, just to see the free-flowing conversation, which um, means that the business breakfast is working because there's nobody sat there just looking at each other. They're actually talking, so it's really, really good for both parties. Representatives from all across the private and public sectors were present ranging from construction, fisheries and law, to fire gas and even the governor himself. The idea being that students could have the opportunity to get an insight into their potential areas of interest or become inspired to new opportunities. Sometimes we blinker kids quite early on and we tell them this is what you want to be, you've got to choose a career path at 16, leaving school. And this gives them an opportunity to see what they're studying and how that might go across different sectors, like where it's cross-cutting. So somebody who's interested in agriculture, there's a huge range of things to agriculture, from agronomy to economics. You know, it's a, it's a really wide-ranging sector. Same with fishery, same with construction, uh, policy. We've got people here interested in law. It's, it's just a really good mix. And the students were certainly not the only beneficiaries of the meeting, as local employers look to the future. It's nice for the, the private and public sector representatives here to see what the future of the islands is. You know, where we're going to bring these young people up and fill in the skills gaps that we have existing here. Where they're really thinking about the studies that are going to, if they want to come back to the Falklands, you know, there isn't, the, the, there is a lot here, but there isn't like worldwide range. So yeah, it's just tweaking it a little bit and we keep, keep getting them to talk and that will help.